Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video we are going to explore open source PostgreSQL extension for storing embedding vectors and perform vector similarity search. Okay, so already in our previous video we discussed in detail about the embedding vector concept and how this can help in finding out similarity between two different entities using cosine similarity, right? And one of the major step in that process is storing embedding vectors for our training dataset in some sort of vector database and that vector database should be having another feature that when we will try to compare a new vector to find out similarity with the existing stored vector in the database it should able to quickly find out top five similar items using cosine similarity or some other algorithm right now one such database which we already explored is pinecone which is obviously not open source and kind of a third party tool but if your organization is using AWS then obviously you can take help of this open source PostgreSQL extension that is PG vector for storing embedding vectors and perform vector similarity search in your AWS Postgre RDS. So without any further delay now we will jump into the practical section where we will be first launching one AWS RDS of PostgreSQL type and there we will install PG vector and we will explore whether we are able to store the embedding vectors and perform vector similarity search or not. Okay. So for that here I will go to AWS management console and here I will search for RDS. And here I will go to database. Currently here you can see we are having no instance. I will click on create database. And here for this demo I am going to choose PostgreSQL. And the engine version you can choose the latest one. I can close this window. And default version it has chosen is PostgreSQL 16.3-R2. Let it be as it is. Here this one we are doing for testing purpose. So I will opt for free trial because we are doing a POC. Database instance name database one that is fine. Master username postgre let it be as it is. I'll be storing that in my this notepad file for future reference. So database name database one. And then here master username postgres. And then we need to provide a password also. So maybe I can give some strong password. something like this and here I'll copy that and master password here I'll be putting that password okay so here you can see the password is a strong password and I will be putting that same password in the confirm master password section so here I have written that and now because you are doing POC so t3 micro is fine storage type let it be default and let this configuration also default don't connect to EC2 that is fine Virtual private cloud, I am going to choose a default VPC which is having 0.0.0.0 access from anywhere in internet. There is all IPv4 and IPv6 access. Publicly accessible, I can keep yes. And choosing existing one, RTS proxy not needed as of now. And here I can expand this DB port 5432. I can copy this and save this for future reference. And then here tags not needed as of now, password authentication that is fine, performance insights not needed, additional configuration here nothing needed, database option, initial database. So here I can put some initial database name, so maybe demo yt pg vector testing, something like that I can put, I can copy this and save in my notepad file and then db parameter group backup not needed. Okay, maintenance not needed and this is our monthly approximate cost but we will just do POC and once this done we will delete that particular RDS so we will not incur this much cost, no need to worry and then here I will click on create database. Okay, right. So we need to wait for a few seconds till our database become up and running. So here it is giving some suggestion. I can close this one and here you can see our database is in creating phase. We will resume our video once the database is up and running or available. Okay. So here you can see now our database is in available state. So let's try to enter in this database using SQL Workbench. You can use PG Admin or any other this sort of PostgreSQL interface, not a problem. 
so here let me do one thing let me just squeeze this particular window a bit and keep it in the center now here we will click on connect to window and here from driver drop down here i'll be choosing postgresql and here we need to provide the host name so in our case for this database the endpoint is this this is basically the host name so i'll be putting that here and then port number port number is 5432 i'll be choosing and put that here the name of the database so in our case the database name we have given this one so here i'll be updating the name of the database right username username is postgres and in here password this value will be put here okay and here keeping all other properties unchanged i can click on okay so here you can see it is connecting to database and i can clear this screen and here this kind of window will be getting cool now here let's see how we can add pg vector in this database for embedding vector storage and use so for that this is the code which i'll be providing in the description box as well so as a first step what we need to do we need to install the vector data type for this postgresql database so here create extension vector we need to execute and here it is created and now if you try to execute select type from pg type where type name equal to vector basically this query will help us in understanding whether postgresql is now supporting vector data type or not okay so here we, if we execute here you can see type name vector is available so here i'll be doing a commit so that if we are having time out then also these two codes will be committed it will not be having a rollback option okay so here it is committed now we can go to the next section let me copy these three codes and this is how we can store the vector or embedding vector and do similarity search so what we are doing as a first step we are creating a table called test embedding and here we are keeping a product id as a first column and the second column we are storing the embedding vectors of it maybe using aws backdrop titan embedding model you have converted any product comment or product description or product name to embedding vector so suppose that we want to store so that time this kind of table we need to create so first step is done now we are going to store the embedding vector so this is how you have to store so first is product id we are storing and then the vector 1 comma 2 comma 3 so for titan embedding maybe you are getting 1500 dimensional vector so you can simply insert that particular vector in this test embedding table like this kind of manner okay right so first element is basically id of that product and second element is embedding representation for product description or product comment or product name etc etc for any particular feature related to that particular product we are having the vector representation so we can insert this in this manner okay right so now if i do select start from test embedding so here you will be getting this is product id and this is how our embedding vector is stored okay now suppose we want to find out which vector is most similar with respect to our already stored elements using cosine similarity right so that time we can use this kind of query select product id comma embedding representation if you want to get for the most similar vector that one also you can extract and now we need to find out for this unknown or new vector 3 comma 1 comma 2 which is most similar item okay now how to perform the similarity for that different ways are available if i scroll below here you will be getting the complete list that supported distance function this is l2 this is inner product this is cosine similarity so we are mostly comfortable with cosine similarity one so i will choose that one and here this is how you need to put the code so this is the unknown vector for which you need to find out most similar items stored in the database right now the cosine similarity computation will be doing with respect to the existing stored vector right that column name is embeddings so with embeddings you need to provide this symbol and then you need to provide that unknown vector okay as distance so this particular thing will be computing the cosine similarity between the stored embedding vectors and this unknown vector and that is nothing but a distance kind of measure if the distance is less that means we can say that particular embedding and this unknown embedding is more similar and if the distance is more that means they are dissimilar right 
so the common theoretical concept what we discussed earlier also from our table and within we are ordering by this distance okay right so here i can basically execute this particular code and here you can see with respect to the product id 1 the distance is only 0 0.21 and with respect to this product id 2 the distance is 1.25 right so from this order by we can clearly understand that the product with id 1 is having most similarity with this particular unknown vector which is not stored in our vector database so not only we are storing the embedding vector but this pg vector extension is helping us in calculating the cosine similarity as well right and if you want to find out that whether the distance values are coming correctly or not so for that you can write a very simple python code and easily understand so here i can write a simple function def cosine similarity between two vectors if we want to get and cosine similarity obviously as we know 1 minus cos theta or cosine angle between two vectors and how we compute the cosine angle between two vectors in 3d it is nothing but ei multiplied by bi plus aj multiplied by bj plus ak multiplied by bk right so that's what same thing we have done with respect to xyz coordinates multiplication and then square root of a i square plus aj square plus ak square that's same thing I have done first we have squared using star star 2 and then whole thing we have taken square root using star star 0 0.5 and same we have done for the b vector as well and the whole thing we are basically subtracting from 1 and how this formula we have derived if you want to know you can check the prerequisite link given in the description box I have explained in detail how this particular formula came okay so here I can execute this one and now here I can provide two vector comparison so let's consider 1, 2, 3 is the first vector. Okay. And the second vector is this one, which is unknown. And if we try to find out cosine similarity, this will be cosine similarity, not cosine angle. Here you will be getting the value 0 0.21. And that's what it is giving us. That means this particular symbol is basically doing that cosine similarity computation. If you want to compute the cosine similarity with the other vector, you can do that easily by replacing this. And here if I calculate, it is 1.248, that is approximately 1.25. So that's what we are getting here, right? So this way, by adding this simple vector extension and vector data type, you can easily perform vector similarity search in your PostgreSQL RDS only. You no need to opt for any other resource outside AWS because often in organizations, we need to take clearance if we want to use third party systems, if we want to send the data to some third party system, some HIPAA compliance, PHI protection, all those things comes up right but here this particular vector database is in aws itself where your whole data is maybe sitting in some rds there only you can install this extension and work with it in our next video we'll be exploring how to do similarity search end to end using aws bedrock titan multimodal embedding and pg vector okay stay tuned